Ooh. Who is this mortal that dares live in my place of rest? I shall haunt you until you succumb to a fate similar to mine, or get the hell out of my house! Ooh. Damn it! How is your place still a mess? I can barely float two feet before I go through something. And all this negative energy isn't good for my appearance at all. I can basically feel it suck up all my energy. It's been like this for weeks, and you're just laid there doing all. I'm not sure if you even left your bed to do anything other than go to the toilet or get food. No, I will not just leave you alone. I have to haunt this place for all eternity, or until I find my last mission of purpose. So I will bug you about keeping the place clean. I never let it get like this when I lived here. Even during my college days, I kept it fairly clean. Sure, I had the odd passed out fraud bro lying around. Maybe a few red solo cups. But it was never as messy as it is now. Well, are you going to just lay there in your bed all day? Doing nothing? Hmm? Huh? Do I have to do everything myself around here? Fine. If you're going to just lay in bed all day, all the time, I guess it's up to me to do something about it while as you wallow in self-pity. You know very well what I'm doing. I'm cleaning. You can join me anytime you like. Individually possessing each object and moving, it is going to get tiring. But I guess it's just something I'll have to do. Takeout bags. At least I know you've been feeding yourself, even if it is takeout. I suppose it's a sign you still have some will to live in there. Empty cans. Empty bottles. Jeez, do you not know what a cup is? Or have you been drinking out of the bottles? Oh, please, do tell me why you've been so sad as of late. I'm just itching to know all about your personal life. Depression? Wasn't it called the Great Depression? And as far as I'm away, that whole era ended decades ago. Unless you know something that I don't. Oh. Well. I'm sorry you've been feeling that way. I didn't know really sad had become a medical condition now. I guess with the whole advances in science, that would make sense. But I still don't see why you don't get up and clean this yourself. Surely having a clean apartment would make you feel a lot better real quick. I've even started doing it for you! Look, a nice clear pathway for you to get wherever you need to be. Like at your desk. Sitting in the sunlight might help too, rather than lying down in your dark, dusty bedroom. Come on now. I'll possess you if I have to. Just sit by the window, open the blinds, and let the light come through. Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny. I know you're not one of those dried folk because I watch you kill multiple plants. Now that I think about it, it reflects how you take care of yourself. You maintain it great for a few days going on walks, drinking regularly, and then out of nowhere, you just go into a slump 
and not move from your bed for days at a time, sometimes weeks. Being a human in this day and age sure seems complicated. Makes me glad I died years ago when you could afford a house on a simple man's salary. Of course, I opted for an apartment so I could be away from those plastic folk and their white picket fence lifestyle. <sighs> Look, kid, a life of solitude is hard. I get it. Feeling like everyone has someone to depend on, to talk to, it gets lonely at times. But walling around your room sulking isn't going to do anything. You're just going to spiral further and further down until you've made a hole you can't climb out of. Come on now, off the bed. I've made a little pathway to the important areas, like the bathroom, kitchen, front door. Just promise me, you either ask for my help to clean, or do it yourself. I can't stand the apartments being messy. 202 is driving me nuts with our room at the moment, and I know they're only doing it to piss me off. All because I called her mama. You know what? It's not even worth talking about it. There's the ones above you, you know, who keep stomping around all over the place, moving their furniture around at ungodly hours of the night. I swear, even I don't make that much noise past 3 a.m. just so people can get some rest. You can't properly drive someone out of the apartment if you don't get them a scared, shitless sleep. And well, they need to be able to sleep in order to do that. You can't keep them up all night long. That's just inhumane. Wow, I've become a softie. Talking inhumane shit. Look, mortal. Just promise me you'll leave that bed at some point today. Or else, I'll start scaring away all those takeaway deliveries! Oh, mortal one. That's a promise. A ghost got to do what a ghost got to do to make sure the place it's going to be haunting forever is clean. Now, get off your ass, grab a garbage bag, and get grabbing stuff. I'll be back in a moment. I'll go see if the rubbish bins outside are empty for you. Or try to push them right outside your window so you can just throw them out that way. I know how much you hate the almost social interactions in the hallway. Hey! I am not going soft. I just want to make sure the place I'm haunting is as clean as as I can get people to keep it. Now shut up and get to work, or I'll possess you and make you do it myself! <laughs>